Así se ve bien usted. Jorginy, pero es ahorita. Ahorita me la pongo. Ay, miren el teacher, ve pink. I'm not sure this is pink, but it's the closest thing. It's kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used it's to okay. have. I think I only have one pink shirt, but it's a polo shirt. And you can wear? Mm, no, it's not formal enough for teaching. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but this is fine. This is fine. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm not sure what color this is, but it's like solid. But look like pink. Yeah, solid. Yeah. What Who does Isaura have on her head? Ah, you're using the, the background. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay, and how are you feeling today? I feel happy too. Happy, okay. Some of you have celebration tomorrow, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Some people have celebration tomorrow, okay. Um, all right, so let's take a look and see who is here and who has the microphone available. So, Nelson, good evening. Can you use your microphone? Jorge? Or he's back. Good Hello, evening. good evening. How are you doing? I'm going. I'm working right now. But I, oh, you're working. I'm, okay. Yeah. Got it. And um, but the good thing is that you can use the microphone a little bit, so probably that that will be useful for some of the activities during the breakout rooms. Uh, Edwin, what about you? Okay, Nelson is working. Edwin? Hi, coach. Hello. Hi. How's it going? How are you, how are you doing today? Um, watching to Real Madrid, the UEFA Champions League coach. Ah, oh, yes. I remember that you're a Real Madrid fan. Okay. Yeah. They say that it was a good game today. Yes. Okay. So we'll see what happens in the next match. Yeah, All right. right. Coach. <laughs> well, hopefully for you and, and people like that the team will win. Right? We'll <laughs> see. Um uh, Yancy. Can you Hello, hear me? Sir. Hello, how are you today? Yes. Uh, this day I have to go to the Mother's Day celebration. Really? And it's Where? cool. With my. Ah, my it's sound. cool. Okay, okay. Nice. Uh, cool. So you you started the celebration before? All day. day. <laughs> okay, excellent. Yeah, yeah, I think that Mother's Day, it's definitely one of those days that you can celebrate any day. Um, then, Jenny? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How I'm are you feeling working today? hard today. In my school celebrate the Mother's Day all day. Okay, so you work at school? You work at a school? Yes, teacher. Nice. As a teacher or you have another occupation? I am assistant. Assistant. Okay, got it. Okay, nice. Uh, Norma? Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, good I evening. Went to, I went to buy meat to celebrate Mother's Day tomorrow with the conference. You went wow. shopping. Bye. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's gonna be a nice party. Yeah. All right, uh, Brandy. How are you doing today? Like every day, yes. Working, working, practicing in Duolingo, 
and practicing with my friends here. Yeah, that's All right. it. Just work, 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 but work, you work. Are... <laughs> but you are all right. That's important. You are fine. Yeah, as you can okay. see. Yes, 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 I can see. <laughs> uh, Isaura? Your microphone is mute. off. Yes. Mute. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's muted. thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> My day was exciting because Fine. I cleaned my house and, All right. and I practiced English with my friends. Okay, nice. Uh, so yeah, organizing the house is complicated. Uh, but well, maybe if you do it little by little, it doesn't feel so so difficult. All right, and Edma? How are you feeling today? <laughs> I, How are you doing? I went, I went to a meeting at my son's school. Um, after that, I returned my my home. Um, okay. At at home, and I had to cook the 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 lunch. Um, in the afternoon, I I practice I English. No, I have English practice with my classroom. And the afternoon, I went to the park with my son. My son played basketball. Okay. At night, I get basketball. my classmate online. That's it. And that's it. Okay. <laughs> you had a nice day. You had an interesting day. And welcome, Melvin and Giselle. How are you there? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Michelle. Welcome, welcome back. You, um, uh, how are you? How are you feeling? How are you doing today, um, Giselle? I am working. Um, um, ¿cómo se dice? Hace unos momentos. Some moments ago. Some minutes, so, moment ago, uh, Some minutes ago, going to the ago. supermarket. You went to the supermarket? Mm -hmm. Because okay. uh, uh, tomorrow prepare, prepare the cooking for my mom. Okay, okay. You're going to cook for your mom. That's beautiful. <laughs> okay, thank you for sharing, Giselle. It's good to have you back. And Melvin, how are you feeling today? Uh, I feel good. I have to work all day, but I watch the match too. Ah, okay. Yes. You're uh, also a street fan? No, i Barcelona fan. You're a Barcelona fan. So you, you want to see if, if Manchester City could win? Yes, I would. Okay, okay, got it. I'm a fan of football. <laughs> okay. No no comment, no comment. Yeah, it's better. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And well, I think uh, Norma was connecting, trying to connect. Because, uh, yeah, now she's back. We have two Normas, right? Norma Callejas, are you there? Norma, can you hear me? Well, uh, in case you cannot hear me, we're going to move on. Uh, as you remember, yesterday uh, I said, right, if you cannot use a microphone, use the chat, right? Uh, remember that we, the most important is that we communicate. Now, yesterday we practiced uh, different things, okay? We were starting the conversation. Um, we were uh, reviewing, right? We were reviewing some of the, wait a second, it's kind of slow. Uh, the excuses that people normally make, right? When they don't want to do something or they don't want to go to a place or to see a person, etc. cetera. And, um, and today we are going to move on with the next part. So uh, 
I asked you to, well, I gave you just a little introduction about the, the grammar topic, right, that we had and uh, about making plans with going to and with the present continuous, okay? So I gave you some examples, I asked you some questions, okay? Just to give you a very simple example, right? Uh, if I ask you, and you can write it in the chat, right? Okay, hold on. I think uh, Leslie is connecting now. Okay, so we got 14. Nice. Okay, I'm going to give you two questions. Okay, I'm going to give you two questions to discuss. Now, the first question is, what are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow? Okay. Um, so that means what is your plan? That for tomorrow. What are you going to do tomorrow? Because tomorrow is a holiday, right? No classes, no work for some people. Um, for some people I know, Brenda, I know. Um, and a lot of people want to celebrate. Some people, uh, okay, okay. Sylvia is writing in the chat. She's connecting, but she's a little sick today. So she's going to be listening to us. Okay, Sylvia, thank you for the information and the clarification. Okay, so in the breakout room, you're going to discuss question number one. What are you doing tomorrow? You can use the present continuous for talking about your plan, or you can use be going to. For example, tomorrow I am going to La Union. Okay, with my family. Tomorrow, I am going to La Union with my family. That is present continuous. Tomorrow, I am going to La Union with my family. Now, if I want to use the future with going to, be going to, I can say tomorrow. Okay, I am going to go, I am going to go to La Union with my family tomorrow. I am going to go to La Union with my family tomorrow. Okay, so you have the two options to mention your plans for tomorrow. And the question number two, okay, is a little beyond that, okay? And that's about your weekend plans. Is there something that you are planning to do this coming weekend? Okay, that is in your agenda, right? In your calendar for this weekend. So you have two questions about the future. One, about tomorrow, what are you doing tomorrow? And the question number two is, what are you going to do on the weekend, okay? Because you finish the, we finish the classes on Friday and um, you have, let's say, uh, a little more time off, right? Until you begin the next module. So you have, you probably you are making some plans in your mind, okay? Leslie, you have a question? Uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, we go at, at another time after this activity and uh, work for a moment with the exercise on the platform. Yes, today we are going to check the platform mm -hmm. because I know that some of you have questions, probably. That's the reason why you haven't. We go you another time uh, work. Huh? One moment with. Uh, no sé, todos, si usted podría tomar un momento en clase para, para ver algunos ejercicios, uh -huh. se podría, después de yeah. esta actividad, para avanzar. Es que hay algunos sure. ejercicios que no entiendo. Y... Ok. Ok. No entender. <laughs> I don't understand this ah, exercise. Ah, ok, ok. okay. <laughs> you don't understand some exercises. Got it. Ok, yes, we're going to do that today. Okay, okay, so Susana you. and Jesus, welcome. Uh, Nuya is coming. Okay, we got full house today. That's amazing. So we're going to the breakout rooms to discuss the two questions. Question number one. What is the question number one? Which plan we have for tomorrow? Mm -hmm. What, are you, what doing are you doing tomorrow? Tomorrow. tomorrow. What tomorrow. are you doing tomorrow? Okay. Mm -hmm. And the second question? The second. What are you going to do on do? the weekend? On the on weekend. weekend, okay? So just the about weekend. the future, okay? Talk about the future. In the breakout rooms, you're going to be in groups of three and uh, check. 
Yeah, we got three here. Some people cannot use a microphone, so uh, they are going to be as listeners. Uh, for example, I think that Sylvia was having some problems with the, yeah, feeling a little sick, right? Not feeling so well. And I think uh, Oscar, the same thing, is working. And Nelson is working too. Okay, so the rest, uh, I think that you can speak. So let me just check that on the breaker rooms. Uh, all right, we got one, two, three. Uh huh, we have a little issue here. So I'm going to move this person to the breaker room. Number one. Okay, so we're ready. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Okay, we got complete group one, two, and three. One, two, three, and four. Okay, perfect. So we got almost everybody in the breaker rooms. So we're going to go now, okay, ready? You will have for this just five minutes maximum to talk about your plans for tomorrow and for the weekend using the grammar that we studied yesterday and that we're going to practice today about present continuous and be going to for the future. There you go. All right, that's the invitation to go to the breaker rooms. Thank you. Four, one, two, one, two, three. Okay, Nelson, can do you get the invitation? I think so. Let's see, I'm going to go. Mm -hmm. On the oh. weekend. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I start? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, for the weekend, I am going to I'm going to play video games with my cousin. And after that, I am going to watch soccer match with my dad. 
and also I'm going to eat a pizza probably. I, I don't know, but it's probably. And also after that, I am going to play soccer with my team because I am participating in a tournament. Um, and after that, I am going to I am going to eat my dinner, and finally, I am going to sleep probably. <laughs> Are you? How do you shoot? <laughs> I don't know, but I am going to rest a little bit and then I I am going to clean my house and then I am going to visit my mother. Also, I am going to walk in the park. Mm, only that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's a great weekend. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> and Sylvia or Oscar? I think Sylvia is feeling a little sick, I think, and Oscar is working, so they cannot uh -huh. use their, their microphone today. Uh, yeah. And you, teacher, what are you <laughs> well, doing to do on tomorrow? <laughs> Well, tomorrow, I'm, as I was mentioning in, in the session, I am going to La Union with my family to uh, flower my grandmother uh, at the cemetery and then uh, have lunch with them, with two of my aunts. Uh, and for the weekend, my most important plan is to organize um uh, some things in my house and also uh, to go out with a friend and have a meeting with uh, two friends from the university. Okay, so that's one of the plans. Uh, and try to rest a little bit because this week has been a little, these days have been a little bit exhausting. <laughs> so yes, okay. I need to <laughs> recover okay. some energy. <laughs> okay. Yes. Nice talking to you guys. See you later in a, in a second. Teacher, you're frozen. Can you hear me? Yeah, I was frozen, I think. Like the movie. <laughs> okay. So uh, I was just in the in the breakout room number one. I couldn't listen to the rest, but I hope that you had enough time for everybody to speak. And um, as I was telling you, right, we're going to, okay, Evelyn is here now. Excellent. Welcome, Evelyn. Okay, okay, no, don't worry. I get it. Now I'm going to share with you the, the screen, okay, so that you can see the, the okay, well, I'm going to share the screen, but, I'm going to, I'm not sure if I activated the audio, but it's okay. Just the, the exercises are the most important. If I get frozen, it's because of the internet connection, I think. So it's loading and loading, loading, loading. Now, can you see it? Yep. Yep. Okay. So in the section four, okay, that is the one that you see. Um, uh, well, the information they sent from the company, uh, some students or some of you were missing uh, some progress in the section four and the majority of the section five, right? Because this week we are working on section five. So it's understandable that you are missing that. Um, so today and on Thursday, let's say, we are going to cover everything. So Friday is going to be just to review, to check the platform, and to do some extra activities to finish, right? The module, uh, the pre-intermediate module for you. Uh, now, uh, the objective is right there. They have a video, right, about geography. You have the lesson objective, a conversation, right, which is larger. Uh, so over there you can um, listen, right, to the complete conversation. 
then uh, the exercise that you have doubts, maybe it's uh, related to the comparatives. Okay, let's suppose. I don't know if you have questions on this one. Uh, you can raise your hand, you can activate your microphone. You can tell me, okay, teacher, I have problems with that or no problems. So let's continue to the next exercise. So uh, for example, in this exercise, let's do just a couple of them. Uh, number one, which country is, what was the complement for this? The adjective is small. Smaller. Smaller, right? Because we have two options, Monaco or the Vatican City. Teacher, so, teacher, sorry, what the exercise is this? This is the mm -hmm. exercise 4.6. Uh, okay, thank you. You're welcome. So smaller, for example, because when you see that there are two things, for example, if I say, who is Messi or Ronaldo? Automatically, you have to make a connection. Okay, that's comparative. Because I mentioned two people, right? I mentioned two things. Okay, in this case, the question can be, who is taller, Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi? Who is taller? Cristiano Ronaldo is taller Cristiano than Ronaldo Ronaldo is taller. Side. Okay, is taller than? Than Messi. Than Messi. Okay. Than Messi. But obviously, <laughs> Messi is better than Messi. Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay? So, uh in different aspects, in different aspects. Now, uh, the question number two was about the waterfalls. We have the Niagara Falls and the Angel Falls. Niagara Falls is between the United States and Canada, right? So, and Angel Falls, do you know where Angel Falls um, are? Higher. Higher. You know the, the location? No, I don't know the location. Higher. Okay, so in this case, the correct answer is Niagara higher. Falls location in Canada. Niagara, Canada, yes, Canada. In the United but, States. Mm -hmm. And I mean, Angel Falls? Angel Falls, I don't know. No? No, I don't remember. So Angel Falls is, I think they are considered to be probably the highest in the world. I'm not so sure. Uh, no, I, I'm not so sure, but it's located in, in Angel Falls, is located in Venezuela, uh, South America. Mm -hmm. So, uh, South America. South America, okay. yes, South America. Okay, so that's the, which one is higher? That's a good question, okay, for general knowledge. Okay, Cultura General, right? Angel Falls or Niagara? General culture? And Angel Falls is the highest waterfall in the world, in the world. So it's 979 meters high. Wow. 979 meters. Almost one kilometer high. That's impressive. Cool. Mm -hmm. It's 19 times bigger than Niagara Falls. It is 19 veces más, más alta que, el, que la, la Catarata del Niagara. Okay. Uh, interesting. And it's called cool. Angel Falls because there was one American aviator or pilot who was called Jimmy Angel who discovered it in 1930s. Mm -hmm. So- Yesterday. <laughs> yeah, 1930. Actually, that was my grandmother's birth year. Mm -hmm. She was born in 1930. Mm -hmm. Now, uh -huh. uh, so that's the correct, those are the correct answers. So you complete number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Uh, I don't know if you have one specific question that you want me to complete that you are like, mm, I'm not so sure about the correct answer for number 10, teacher. What is the correct form? This is comparative, right? Can you please tell me the comparative for dry? Dry. 
Christy. No. Christ. No, comparative. The dress. Ah. Dressed. The dress. Nope. The driest. Uh -huh. Nope. That's the... superlative. Ah. Huh? Dryer. Dryer. Driver, driver. No, okay, dryer. in this case, in this case, uh, if it is driest. a superlative, you say the driest. Driest. Right? Which is the driest desert in the world? Atacama Desert or Sahara Desert? Okay, como estamos hablando en el mundo, ¿cuál es el más seco? Si sería superlativo. But the point is that I need you to see that, for example, we have dry, right? The, the adjective. The comparative is drier. drier. And the I superlative is the driest. <laughs> now, what happened Dryer. here? There is a modification. There is a modification. So when the adjectives finish in the letter Y, and a yeah, right? <sighs> we eliminate the Y and we add I E R. For the comparative, right? Dryer, for example, dryer. And we add EST for the superlative. So we say the driest. Okay, so that is a modification, okay, that, that we, we do. So in this case, you say the driest, right? The driest. We check the answers. The driest or driest. You can see, okay? And then the first two, smaller, higher, correct. So in this case, uh, why superlative? Because they say desert in the world, ocean in the world. Estamos hablando de todo lo que hay en el mundo. ¿Cuál es el más profundo del océano? ¿Y cuál es el desierto más seco? Right? So in that case, we only focus on one. For that reason is superlative. Okay? Um, Next, we continue with the next uh, lesson objective, pronunciation, lesson objective, um, knowledge check, 4.13. So in this exercise, for example, the indication is write the questions to these answers. Remember to use how, how. Start your question with an uppercase letter and finish with a question mark. Pero aquí no hay problema de malentendido porque también se la pregunta en español. Okay, so, um, in this case, Angel Falls is 979 meters high. The question would be, how? How high is Angel Falls? How high? How high? How high is is angel angel falls angel, angel angel falls. Falls. falls it should be angel falls but i don't know there was they wrote angels pero tendría que ser angel falls okay uh, okay how high is angel falls and the answer la 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 okay california number, is about number what and the number Four, uh, yo, Four. Um, uh, how hot is Washington DC? Pero me la marca mal. In the summer, agregué how in the hot. summer, how hot, hot is Washington DC? Washington DC. In the summer, o solo sería Washington DC. Es que me la marca mal y no sé qué está mal. In the summer. Okay, sometimes it's a little uh, symbol, a little letter, a, li a comma, right? Algunas veces solo un detalle pequeñito de, de, de redacción. Yeah. If uh -huh. you don't add the, the letter S at the end of angel, so you will be wrong. Ajá, uh ajá, -huh, uh -huh, exactly. So, for example, in this case, how hot is Washington, D.C. in the summer? Or how hot is Washington, D.C. in the summer? No comma. Or how hot is Washington in the summer? No the comma, summer. no D.C. Okay, so you see? Uh, question uh, mark at the end. 
could be que the question and the mark. the question mark at the question. end. Ajá, y el signo le pregunta al final. Ajá. Yeah. How, uh, uh -huh, like that. Washington. Now, eh, in the number one, how high is Angels Falls? Ajá. Como decía Brandy, right? El, el la S, si le escribieron la S en la pregunta, en la respuesta, tenemos que poner en la pregunta. Uh, aunque realmente Angel Falls no va con S. Angel is only Angel. Porque el apellido del quien la descubrió. Um, okay, so it's like that, right? And then, uh, is that clear, Leslie and everybody? Yeah, teacher, thank you. Yes, uh, okay, you're welcome. In this exercise, I, am, I, am, I don't understand. Exercise okay. five. Okay, we're going to get to five in, in a moment. No, in a moment. Cinco okay. cuatro. Five point say, four. Uh, five, five point, point four. four. Yes. In the that is the first two? exercise. The part yeah. two. So, uh -huh. Okay. So in this case, we use the future, right? Future. Oh Indications with the present continuous. Okay. Van a completarlo solo con el presente continuo. Utilizar los pronombres y los verbos que están en paréntesis. For example, what you do tonight? What is the question? Using the present continuous. What, what are you doing? Are you doing? You are doing, 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 doing tonight. tonight? Doing tonight. Okay, what are you doing tonight? That would be the, the, the complete question, right? No, uh, teacher. Uh, just for you to see, right? Just for you to Susana, see. What are you doing? Susana, mute, please. Hola. Put the mute, please. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Uh, so that's the number one. Then um, number two, right? That was the question that you were asking. You do anything on Friday night? This is a yes, no question. It's a yes, no question, right? La pregunta es sí y no. So you are not going to use what, where, when, why, no. Only the auxiliary for the present continuous. What is the auxiliary for the present continuous? Are you? Uh -huh. are the you? verb to be, the verb to be. The verb to be has three forms, remember? Um, yes. um, uh -huh. We have the verb to be in the uh, in the present is am, um, is, are, is and are. Is, so, uh, for example, in the present continuous, I can say, I am a, watching a movie tonight after class, right? For example, I can say that I'm watching a movie tonight. Or she, or let's say my sister is working tomorrow. No vacation, for example. She is working tomorrow. And another example using R, I can say my students, right? You, right? My students are. Um, celebrating tomorrow. An example, right? Maybe some of you uh, have to work, so you don't have a lot of time for celebration, but let's suppose that you have a party. So my students are celebrating tomorrow um, or on the weekend, right? I can say on the weekend. Okay, so if you see, it's necessary to use the auxiliary B, right, in the three different forms, am, is, and are, plus the verb and ing. That is the present continuous. All right, so in the question number two, in the exercise number two, we have are, we start with the capital letter, right, letra mayúscula al inicio, are, because the adjective, the pronoun is you. So for you, we say are. You are, we are, they are, okay, a, I am, he, she, it is. So are you doing anything on Friday night? 
Okay, are you doing anything on Friday night? How do you translate that question? ¿Cómo traducen esa pregunta? Are you doing anything on Friday night? ¿Cómo vas a hacer algo esta noche? Harás algo el... El viernes en la noche. El viernes ah, la noche. viernes en la noche. Uh -huh. ¿Vas a hacer algo el viernes en la noche? Ya se sabe que hay una intención de invitarlo a uno, ¿verdad? If you say no, it's because you want to listen to the invitation. If you say, yes, I have to work. Ah, uh, okay. Bye-bye. You have a question? <laughs> no? Uh, no question. Bye-bye. Okay. So, Thank like that, right? Like now, watch some um, that is the exercise the first part, right? The knowledge, the part one. In the part two, you have to complete the responses, the responses or the sentences with be going to. No va a poner be going to. Van a utilizar la forma del be que corresponda. Okay? Uh, for example, number one, I be here on Saturday. The verb is be. So we I need am. to have, I am uh -huh. going, going to, to be. Going. I am going Beach. to be here on here. So, vamos a dejar sobre el espacio de lo que faltaría en medio, ¿verdad? I'm going to be oh, here on Saturday. Here on Saturday. Okay, I'm going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try and go on Saturday. Okay? Then well, my father, my father, what is the auxiliary for the bird to be if we say my father? Is. Is. Uh -huh. He, right? He is going to visit. He, my father is going to visit my brother at college. College is not college, right? It's universidad. Gracias. But my but mother, mother and I and are going I to be going home. home. Okay. Uh, so if we check the answers, okay, for this one, you will see that we have is going to visit. I'm going to be, right? So and then in the for in the question two, are you doing? And the question one, are you doing? So the same, what are you doing tonight? Are you doing anything on Friday night? It was the same. Um, okay, so because of time, we're going to stop here with the review, okay? On Thursday, we continue with the review for the next exercises on the platform. Remember to try to work, right? The 5.9, for example, is about the next topic. Okay, that is indirect questions, right? Uh, I'm going to share the screen with you. Wait a second. New share, new share. So we have this. Okay. Uh, so um, that I ask you to just complete, right? Uh, what are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Question two. It's example that we just saw in the exercise in the platform. Are you doing anything? Are you doing? Doing. Are you doing? Doing. Doing. Are you doing anything on Friday night? Number three. Number three. What do you have for number three? We are. We are. Are we are having we are having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? Okay, we are having friends over. Esta expresión significa vamos a recibir a nuestros amigos en la casa. Okay, so for example, I can say I am going to have my best friend over on Sunday. I'm going to have my best friend over. Have someone over. Ese es un verbo eh, frasal. Es un phrasal verb. Eh, de dos partes. I am going to ha have someone over. Es recibir a alguien, right? Have someone over. Eh, voy a recibir a alguien. Se entiende que en la casa. 
right? Uh, o en el lugar donde esté. I'm going to have someone over. Um, and then, number four. Are you going to? Are you? Okay, remember that we're using the present continuous, right? Are you? Are you? Staying. 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 Are you staying? Staying. Are you staying? Okay, are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? Okay, te vas a quedar en la ciudad el fin de semana, el siguiente fin de semana. Are you staying, right? Okay, and then in the part B, we are going to complete with be going to. Okay, how do you complete letter A? I'm I, going to be here. I'm. Let's use the contraction. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm going, going to, to, to be. be. I am going to be, I'm going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Excellent. Well, my father, remember that we did the exercise okay. in the platform, on the platform? My father is He's going, going to, to, going to visit. To visit. Is going to visit my brother. Letter C. Sorry, I can't. I, how do you say? Voy a trabajar tiempo extra. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Excellent. I'm going to work. Over time. Over time. Eso es tiempo extra. Over time. Okay. Over time tonight. How about tomorrow night? ¿Qué tal mañana en la noche? How about? How about? Okay, how about is, ¿qué tal mañana? How about, how about you, right? ¿Qué tal tú? How about you? Then, uh, letter D. Can we go to a late show? Mm -hmm. I. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. I am going, going to, stay to stay at the office till the office 7 o'clock. Teacher. Uh -huh. In Spanish, I understand. <laughs> the present continued. Um, ocupamos el, el, uh, digamos el verbo, el, agregamos el ing. Y en uh -huh. the future, ocupamos el be going to, pero el verbo no cambia, solo agregamos. No, no. no. siempre el ing, la estructura es la misma. La única diferencia es que casi siempre utilizamos una palabra de que se refiere al futuro, para dar a entender que estamos hablando del futuro. Tomorrow. La estructura es la misma, lo único que cambia es el contexto y el significado. Okay. If I, for example, if I say, I am teaching English right now. Estoy hablando del presente continuo o el present presente continuo para el futuro. Present Estoy hablando continuo. de la acción present en este momento. Okay? I, am, I am teaching a class. Pero si yo digo, I am teaching a class tomorrow, Ya no estoy hablando del presente. Estoy hablando del futuro. I am teaching a class tomorrow. Y la estructura es la misma. Lo único que le agrego es el tomorrow, por ejemplo. Ok. Uh, incluso el presente simple se puede utilizar para hablar sobre el futuro. Esto se aplica, por ejemplo, con horarios. Eh, por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, the movie is at 10 p.m. The movie is at 10 p.m. La película es a las 10 de la noche. La película es presente, ¿verdad? Pero, como digo, a las 10 de la noche y estamos a las 9, es una oración presente simple referi refiriéndose a un futuro. El, for example, how do you say el, avio, el, el bus se va a las 7 de la mañana? How do you say that in English? El bus se va a las 7 de la mañana. The bus left. The bus at, go. Left. The bus, bus left at leaves. Leaves. Ah, leaves. leaves. Leaves at leaves at seven a.m. 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 Ajá. The bus leaves at seven a.m. Es una oración del presente o del futuro? Future. Future. Es del futuro. Entonces, yeah. para, para horarios, ok, la, 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 la reunión empieza a las 
2 de la tarde. Ok, for example. The meeting. The meeting. The meeting. Empieza. O inicia. Start. 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 At, Start. At 2 p.m. At 2 o'clock, for example, at 2 o'clock. Okay? So, uh, there are different forms. Hay distintas formas de utilizar el futuro. Okay? Um, so, in this case, we only focus on present continuous and be going to. Okay? Perfect. Questions about this? Sure. No questions? Jorge. Sí, uh, Entiendo que el, el present continue, perdón, el future con will es como para un futuro más distante. Mm. Y el going to es como para un futuro próximo. Ok, that's an excellent question. Esa es una pregunta muy buena. <risa> eh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre el will y el going to? Ok, el, y el will. Perdón, y, y, el, y el que uh -huh. estaba diciendo que, que, por ejemplo, the meeting is a Seven o'clock, or seven, uh -huh. uh, seven p.m. Es, es como está, ¿verdad? La, la reunión está para las siete, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Es como para horario, uh -huh. agendas, cosas agendadas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, uh, but will and going to, el principal debate es entre will y going to, ¿ok? Y hay distintas diferencias. Uh, la principal diferencia entre will y going to es que going to lo utilizamos para planes que ya está que ya tenemos eh, por ejemplo claro que lo vamos a hacer que vayan a suceder o a, a salir bien es otra cosa pero que tenemos el plan ya está entonces normalmente para planes utilizamos el going to si hablamos para posibles cosas del futuro utilizamos el will ok cosas que no estamos tan seguros eh, por ejemplo Hey, are you coming to the party with, with me? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I will go to the party, to be honest with you. Or you say, I think I will go to the party with you. So normally we use will for that. Otra diferencia también en el uso del will es que utilizamos will para promesas. Y sabemos que la promesa más famosa del mundo es, I will always love you. Okay. Uh, es la promesa número uno right? siempre te amaré uh, so, para promesas siempre es el will okay? utilizamos el will uh, ah, when we teacher, are eating teacher, I promise I promise I will pay attention teacher, I promise I will practice English um, I will do my homework ok, so y otro uso del will también para que lo tengan presente es cuando ustedes toman una decisión al momento y que quieren, por ejemplo, ayudarle a alguien con algo. Eh, por ejemplo, ¿quién quiere participar? ¿Quién, quiere, quién, ¿Quién tiene una pregunta? ¿O quién quiere ir a, a tal lugar? I will. ¿Ok? O I will help you. right ¿Quién me puede ayudar? I will help you, teacher. Eh, I have para... a good one. Uh -huh. When we are in a restaurant in the, in the group and I say, I will pay. I will pay. Ok, ese es un ejemplo de una decisión al momento. I will pay, ok? Sure. Don't don't worry. I will pay, right? I have the money. So, um, that is the difference, ok? Entonces, el will, uh, hablando del futuro, casi siempre es un poquito más incierto. Y el going to, sí, es cuando, be going to es cuando ya tenemos un plan. Um, igual que el, que, el, que el present continuous, ok? También lo utilizamos para plan, aunque un term corto plazo más o menos, ok, casi siempre a corto plazo, eh, y el going to sí puede ser un poco más largo eh, for example um, I am going to let's say buy a new cell phone, I am going to buy a new cell phone next month ok, eh, it's a plan that I am saving money to buy a cell phone right, but for example I, I can say I will I will have two children. Okay, thinking about my future. Okay. <laughs> no puedo estar 100% seguro. No estoy 100% seguro que va a tener dos hijos. Okay, but I can say you can have a sure I will have two children. Okay, lo digo con el will porque no estoy tan seguro y es bastante tiempo futuro, no sé qué puede pasar, ¿verdad? Uh, maybe more, maybe no, maybe zero. I don't know. Now, 
Uh, that is the difference between will and going to. So excellent question, Jorge. Now let's continue. Um, for the word power, the word power, uh, we have some activities, okay? In different categories. We have leisure activities for friendly gatherings, spectator sports, and live performances, live performances. Now, I am going to say pronunciation first, okay? Listen and repeat. Barbecue. 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 Baseball game. Baseball, baseball game. Baseball game. Basketball game. Basketball game. game. Beach party. Beach party. Birthday party. Birthday party. Comedy act. Comedy act. Dance performance. Dance performance. Golf tournament. Golf tournament. Picnic. Picnic. Play. Play. Rock concert. Rock concert, 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 and tennis match. And tennis, tennis match. 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 Tennis, tennis match. match. Tennis match. Okay. Barbecue. What category is barbecue? What happened? Oh, wait a second. Okay, here. Friendly, friendly, Heather. Oh. Friendly. Okay. Gathering. Mm -hmm. Ah, gatherings. Friendly gathering. Okay. Sí, gathering is like a reunion. Okay. Como una reunión. Gathering. Okay. Uh, baseball game. Mm -hmm. Spectator sport. Spectator. Spectator sport. Spectator sports. Basketball. Spectator sports. Spectator sports. Beach party. Friendly gathering. Friendly, friendly gathering. gathering. All live performance. What do you think? What do you think? Is a live mm -hmm. performance or not? What is live performance? Presentation in vivo. Okay. Live performances. Mm -hmm. Ah, so friendly, a party. friendly gathering. Mm -hmm. It can be a friendly mm -hmm. gathering or a live performance. Si va a haber una, una discoteca mm -hmm. en la playa, ahí sería un live performance, right? Un concierto en la playa. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, birthday party. Uh, live really? performance. Friendly, friendly performance. Gathering. 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 Okay, friendly gathering. gathering. That's correct. Gathering. A comedy act. Uh, live live performance. 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 Live performance. Dance performance. Live, live performance. performance. Correct. Golf live tournament. Spectator sports. Spectator, Spectator sports. sports. Picnic. Friendly mm -hmm. gathering. Friendly mm -hmm. gathering. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, play. Mm -hmm. Spectator. Hey, spectator. Oh, friendly. No, friendly gathering. No. Mm -hmm. Friendly gatherings. No, it's not friendly live gathering. Live it's not spectator sports. Live it's a live live performance. performance. Play, mm -hmm. en este caso, no es un juego. Es una obra de teatro. Ah. Play. Hey, let's go and watch a play. Mm -hmm. No es un juego, es una obra. Mm -hmm. Ajá. You no, take notes, right? Annotation. Ah, play <laughs> también es obra de teatro. Okay. Rock concert. Live performance. Live performance. Live performance. Oh. And Perform tennis match. Uh, Spectator sports. Oh, Spectator sports. sports. Spectator okay. sports. Correct. Are you doing any of these activities on the weekend? Yes or no? No. no. Yes. No. No. Nothing. No. Maybe you're going to watch a game on TV. No. 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 The sleep is my I'm favorite spectator sport. Sleeping. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, a, pi a pajama party, right? Una pijamada. So. Accept or refuse. You see, this is a play, right? I put a better example in play. Um, now, we are going to move on. Okay, we already talked about weekend plans. 
And we are going to finish with this. Can I take a message? Okay. So it's a conversation between the secretary we and have Mr. Put, Kale. We this conversation. Yeah. I'm going to do it right now. And on Thursday, we'll do it in the breaker rooms. Okay. We have more time. So right now, just for pronunciation, listen and read. Listen and read. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry. She's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2 30. Friday at 2 30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale, I'll give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. So that's a conversation between the secretary and Mr. Kale, right? So that's a conversation that we're going to practice on Thursday at the beginning of the class. So please practice individually, right? Uh, the pronunciation spelling right the, the numbers and saying the number and spelling the last name and basically that's it for today tomorrow is the day off so enjoy rest if possible right take a little moment to relax and i will see you on thursday okay on thursday so do you have any questions or comments ladies and gentlemen no teacher thank you for help with the exercise the platform you're welcome. It's my pleasure. I am here to help you, as I said, right? I'm not a politician. If I promise something, I do it normally. Okay. Uh, so I'm trying. I'm trying to, to make a difference. I'm trying to make a difference. So have a beautiful night, sweet dreams, and a nice day tomorrow. Okay. Uh, if there Happy are morning. some special, special moms in your family, congratulations to them, right? Um, so celebrate, send a beautiful message, a little call, right? Remember that the most important is the intention and the love that we have for those women, amazing women. And for the women here who are mothers, well, happy Mother's Day. For those potential mothers, yes, the same for you guys, girls. And... Uh, even if you have just cats, Brandy, you are a mom, okay? You're a cat mom. So uh, take care of yourself. I will see you on Thursday. It was a pleasure. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Bye. 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 Practice, practice, practice. Bye. Yes, I will, sure. Thank you. Bye. Okay, I will. You see, it's a promise. It's a promise. I will let you know the color for Thursday too. All right. Okay. Look. Hopefully, I will. I will hey, have that color. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. 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 See you. Right, see you, Jenny. Yeah, Jenny, Susana, and Norma.